Hello there, folks. Hope you're all doing well. Just wanted to come back here and do an update as I'm back here in Maryland um, for the first time in a while. And uh, yeah, good to see my palms again, see how everything's doing. Uh, yeah, I'll just run you guys through, show, show you everything. So uh, this guy's doing super well. I think it's just a normal 429. I can't remember actually the order. Um, I had another one die here and then this one, I can't remember. I think this was already pretty much gone when I left, but uh, that one kicked it. I don't know what it is. Um, this area's got a lot of drainage, so it's got super wet soil or, or a lot of water drains here. Um, the soil isn't, it doesn't drain super well. Um, so it's super thick. So that might've been what did it, but that one's super nice and healthy, please to see. This tracky again, you know, uh, I transplanted this thing a couple years ago. I think it just had a prolonged transplant shock. That was sort of my uh, eventual conclusion of what happened. I, I had several theories. I thought this vent here might've been impacting it, but I really don't think that was it. Uh, and then over the summer, yes, yeah, recovered well. And uh, you know, even though it doesn't look great right now, um, uh, what, what kept happening as a, with, as a result of the transplant shock was these fronds just kept randomly snapping and hanging down. And that hasn't happened uh, recently, at least in the time that I've been gone. So all these this new healthy growth staying up, uh, nice healthy spear here. So uh, I don't plan on protecting it. I've never protected it. It's in a good sheltered spot. Obviously it could be a freak winter, um, like 2014 or something. Um, that, there's always a chance for that every year, but uh, I'm just hoping it's not. And obviously if it is, then maybe I'll, uh, I'll do something, but um, you know, this palm's, what, you know, what, what growth there is, is super, super healthy looking. Uh, fronds look really, really nice. And I uh, just lots of new growth in this thing. So yeah, I could probably take another season or so to actually look good again, but uh, glad to see it's growing. That's super nice. Uh, this is my sable atonia, something I've just been very impressed with. Uh, I knew absolutely nothing about the hardiness of the species. I think there was like one other person from the DC area I had heard about who had success with it, but there's really very little information out there because it's a super rare species up in Northern climates. Uh, and it's from Florida, but uh, it is quite cold hardy, very cold hardy in fact, and I've never protected it. I think it's been out two winters now. Uh, I think it wrapped some burlap around it the first winter actually, but the past winter I did not protect it. And uh, zero damage, um, which just is awesome. Super pleased to see that. Um, so it seems to be at least as hardy as a tracky here. And uh, yeah, it just looks really good. Uh, you know, obviously like most low growing sables, they're slow growers, but uh, no, slowly but surely it's putting out a few new fronds and uh, nice healthy spear. So super pleased to see this thing's doing well. This tracky died like almost immediately after putting in like a year or something ago. I just haven't taken out the trunk yet, but that is obviously a goner. Um, yeah, my needle palm here uh, doing super well. This, I can't remember if it had transplant shock. It had some sort of issue where, uh, I think this pure was pulled the first winter I planted it, uh, which I actually had with another needle palm that died. Uh, but this one, you know, I, I transplanted it and I think it's, it had no issues since then. Uh, you know, again, they are slow growers, but it's put out several fronds looking nice and healthy. And I'm just super pleased to see this thing, just knowing how big this can become. So, you know, it's a good spot for it. And, uh, you know, with, with time, this may become a massive palm like some of the ones in the dc area um, so just super pleased to see that uh this is just a normal stable miner but the uh deer have been eating away at it uh, when i planted it so it, it was probably a similar size when i planted it um, but thankfully it's got these nice mature fronds which is awesome because most of the stables i planted were really tiny little stable miner um, but this one's nice and mature um, which is awesome and just pleased to see the new growth on it super nice and healthy uh, yeah, the deer sort of mutilated a lot of these, but they are growing back, doing well. Same with this this thing. This is a, just another stable miner. Um, again, the deer, you can see here, shoot off a few of these ones there. But uh, yeah, I know, healthy new growth. Um, new spear there, you can see. Um, obviously, these are just like needle palms, fully hardy here. And uh, I expect it'll continue to do well. Super pleased to see that. Um, this thing is just, I think is my longest, the longest palm I've had. Um, or the oldest palm that I've had. This is my uh, Fortunae. Keeps chugging along. Uh, again, I transplanted it, had some transplant issues. Um, I think it died the first, or it, it died back the first winter. Um, got some damage because I planted it in November, not knowing better. That was like four years ago when I didn't really know anything about palms. But uh, slowly but surely, very, very impressed with this one. I had another waggy that accompanied it, which I believe has uh, passed on. Uh, I planted it somewhere around here and I don't know what happened. I think last winter just transplant, you know, I transplanted it and it didn't make it, but this Fortuna, uh, super nice and healthy and uh, just super pleased to see it doing well. Lots of nice dense growth there. And then it's got a little bit of uh, shelter, uh, wind, wind shelter at least from uh, these bushes above it. So super nice to see. 
you guys may remember, I don't even know if I've showed any of this stuff here. Um, it's just been so long. Uh, this was all bamboo when we uh, moved in and I think like 70% of it was dead. I have no idea why. I mean, you can see what's left there. There's some dead growth in there, um, but we had it all removed. It was just, you know, becoming super invasive. The roots were becoming invasive. Um, and again, it was like mostly dead, very strangely. Uh, so that was all removed, took a while, but um, yeah, all this new, my parents planted some fruit trees in here. Of course, super pleased to see the Southern Magnolias in here and doing well. We got several of them around the yard, but uh, one of my absolute favorite trees, so tropical looking and also so hardy. I mean, it's just absolutely spectacular. And again, we're getting into the, the cold months. You can see all the deciduous trees have dropped their leaves, or most of them have, and uh, these Southern Magnolia is doing super well. And also it's super nice. I, I uh, hadn't noticed this, but there's Virginia Magnolia right behind it, these ones right here, which you can see uh, are turning a bit color. They got a bit of color in the leaves and they do, they're like sort of semi deciduous here, but, um, it's just cool to see the contrast of the two species. And those are actually native to the DC area, the uh, Virginia Magnolia or Sweet Bay Magnolia. Uh, I think it's called Sweet Bay Magnolia. Um, yeah, super cool species. Um, these prickly pear here, I haven't seen these in a while either. Wow, this is, yeah. These fruits are super, uh, I, I need to actually look at which species these are again. So this is all a punch of humifusa, which is our native Eastern prickly pear. Um, native to the DC area, native all across the East Coast. Such a cool species, and you can see, as happens in winter, it sort of becomes less plump. Usually these pads stick up a bit. Now they're sort of shriveling up for winter to conserve energy. Um, and it actually enables them to like drain the liquid out of the pads so that they don't freeze, which is super interesting. Um, but super nice and healthy and just amazing growth. This, this literally started from like three pads I planted a couple seasons ago. Transplanted them here, and uh, I mean, it's just you can see how many <laughs> like dozens of pads there are now. Um, this one I think is a punch of macroriza, which is like plains prickly pear. I had a tiny, uh, I don't know where it was, it was like somewhere right in here. And I think it's just died or maybe there's like a little bit of growth left um, below these, this mulch. But uh, I had an, a punch of, um, oh, I forgot what it's called. One of those little stubby apuncha species. Um, yeah, that just did not make it one of those tiny little ones. But this one's done really well. I think this is a punch of Elysiana. Um, a couple of the pads actually... I think it like was leaning over and I tried to prop it back up and a couple of the pads fell off, but you can see one of them, I think I just put it right in the ground and it's already making its own growth. Super nice and healthy, getting some good height on it. Just super pleased to see how well this is done. And you can see some of the pads that have just fallen off. Um, I'm not gonna do anything with it. You can see there and there, but sorry, there's a helicopter going over. Um, but you know, assuming like these ones in the mulch here, they can just root right back in and start their own growth. So that's one of the coolest things about these cacti. They can just root in. Oh, these are some of the other pads that I took. Um, you can see here. Um, so hopefully they root in. They might not. But I just sort of threw them over here with the hopes that they might. But this is a bunch of Elysiana, super nice and healthy. Really pleased to see that. And uh, yeah, all the cacti are doing super well. And I recently had a viewer asking me about these uh, traggy seedlings. Um, and you can see these ones doing super well. Uh, this actually, so I planted some tracky and uh, stable seedlings. They were already seedlings, so I had to transplant them, which of course um, doesn't always mean that they're gonna do well. Um, but the seedlings have done remarkably well um, since transplanting. I think these are all, these look like stable to me. So these are stable minor, stable minor, stable minor. And then this, this looks like tracky to me. Or no, I think this is still stable minor. But these ones are stable minor. Um, this looks like tracky here. Um, these are definitely trackies. Um, but they've done super well. And actually, you want to know the craziest thing? This started as, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure this is true, this started as a seedling I planted, um, like that size. And somehow it's just grown like exponentially faster than the rest of them. I have no idea why. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. I thought this was one of the little trackies I planted um, that was already sort of like this. But no, this actually started as a seedling, which is just crazy for me to think about. Um, I'm just used to, used to them looking like that. But um, this has grown so much. It's getting some, you know, sort of mature-ish leaves, I guess and uh, getting a little trunk on it there. That's just awesome to see. So these seedlings have done super well. Um, I think a bunch of them died too. I think I, there was a bunch more like in here, which uh, yeah, I mean, just didn't make it, you know. I mean, this area has been like remulched. People have been in here uh, planting stuff. Um, you know, obviously I'm not the only one back here. Um, and obviously just transplanting them, you know, seedlings are very tough to transplant, especially trackies and stuff like that. But no, I mean, there's a few of them that have made it. That one's just grown super fast, which is amazing for, to, to see. And uh, yeah, overall things are just doing well back here. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> it's been quite some time since I've been back here and especially since, since I've done an update. Um, you know, I, I was sort of uh, off YouTube for a while or mostly off YouTube uh, and not doing videos and sort of now getting back into it. I've, I've caught up on all the comments and everything and uh, I'm just trying to 
get videos back out, but as you may know, I'm in, I'm in college in California, so uh, I'm not back here that often, but I might be back here next summer, um, and uh, I'll be back here, I think, for Christmas again, for the holidays, um, and yeah, just back here right now. So uh, yeah, pleased to see everything doing well, and uh, nice to see the the uh, you know fruits of all the all the labor, all the you know the love and the palms taken off, and uh, continuing to do well here in these colder climates. Just awesome, yeah. I'm really. Uh, it was kind of cool, you know, just growing up here. Uh, always wanted to be in a warmer climate. Now I am in a warmer climate, and obviously it's super nice. But there was something especially exciting about, you know, growing what people tell you you can't grow. Um, you know, palms and exotica and cacti and all this stuff um, and seeing it just thrive and, you know, in these colder climates, it's just awesome. So I'm really happy to see everything doing well. And uh, of course, as always, let me know your thoughts. I love to hear from you guys. Um, and yeah, hope your palms are doing well. And uh, yeah, ask any questions down in the comments, anything. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. Palms doing well here. Have a good one.